Alright guys, today I'm going to teach you how to uh, do the keyframe effect on uh, text or um, add a keyframe generator to text in Sony Vegas 10. So um, I already have the program open just to save some time. So um, down here, if you're using Vegas Pro, I'm using Vegas uh, HD Platinum. Um, but It's basically the same thing. So if you're using Vegas Pro, uh, right click on a frame down here and say insert text media. Or if you're using Platinum go to the text field and then do the same thing and then you want to put whatever text you want in here I have an idea for mine so I'm just gonna put tell and actually as a matter of fact I'm gonna put tell you how alright so now I have that and once you have the text you want to drag it out to however long you want it to be obviously I want mine to be around around six or seven seconds not to be so so I'll just go ahead and drag it back to there alright <clears throat> so if you want your text to move which is what this video is about you wanna um, first like I say create that and then you wanna click this little uh, event pan crop button alright so now uh, I want to move mine to the top left corner so if I want to do that then I'll click on position and then I'll hit the right arrow key about I don't know six seven times maybe up to a half a second because the one second mark is right here so maybe up to a half a second or three quarters and then when I get there uh, I want to make the text smaller and then I want to <clears throat> wow voice crack sorry but I want to drag it up to the top left corner all right so as you can see um, as soon as I stopped it right there and I started moving the text around and stuff it automatically created me a keyframe so if I were to just stop there and then go back to the center it would play out like that which uh, if some of you guys um, wanted to do that I guess that would work pretty good but um that's not really what I want to do uh, what if I wanted to move the text all around the screen so you once again click the same button and go back here to your second keyframe and then you want to once again click on position and go about the same amount of frames forward that you did before about right there then I want to move it over to this so actually I'll kinda of do like a little bounce effect if you will so I'll do that and then I will proceed to hit the next frame about right there and then <clears throat> I'll drag this up here like I say this guy this isn't supposed to look perfect guys I'm just doing a tutorial but um you guys can pretty much take this information and uh, do what you will with it you can do all kinds of rotations and stuff and you know there's really no limit as to what you can do so as you can see right there I just created a little animation type thing you guys can watch it but um, I, in my in my um understanding, you can change the um, how quick the text moves from position to position. Like I say, you can change rotation, you can change all that crap. So if you guys are wondering how to do the keyframe or put a keyframe generator on text, that would be how to do it. And uh, if you guys want to see more, just be sure to comment below and like the video. So see you guys later, and have a great day.